Hello, let's start with the raster to vector tool. So in this one, we just need to select any image from the computer, as you can see. And now we just preview. The idea is to get automatically the curves from the image. So as you can see, we have the curves we want. Of course, uh, I will delete the parts I don't want to use. I will just keep the ones I want. So in this case, I will explode and then I will delete the parts I don't want. So this one, this one, and this one. So this is the idea. Delete all the parts we don't need. And now I just want to make sure all the curves are closed so I'm just in this part I'm going to create another curve just activate the endpoint and close this curve from endpoint to endpoint and again in this side close the curve and make sure these are a single curve so I will join and in the top view I will now scale it to the size I want to do my model so the idea now is just to place the model on the scale I want to use and uh, I use the grid as reference so now I'm going back to the perspective to start with the, with the emboss. So I just click on the emboss, then I have this project setting so I can define the, the object type, I mean the, the cap type, then the resolution and of course the size. So in here I can define everything uh, and click OK. So now I can start with the emboss. The idea is to add a new operation, select the curves, and with the gumball define how I want the shape. So I apply the operation to this specific curve, I adjust the gumball in this uh, operation, refresh, and now the idea is just to uh, refresh to make sure we when we change the gumball to update the results and uh, from here I will I will uh, uh, well at this point everything is okay so the next step will be to click OK to uh, apply the results and the uh, next step will be exactly the same but with the to the other curve so i will start with the emboss now i choose a new project and i keep exactly the same project settings so i can add a new operation and in this case i'm going to use the other curve so i just once again exactly the same process adjust the gumball refresh to see the results and here we go refresh make sure it's exactly what I'm looking for and finally we are ready so looks everything good well just a little bit more to avoid this flat area in the in the top so refresh now looks good I can uh, I can smooth a little bit my object so I'm going to add a new operation and choose operation type smooth so I just need to drag my cursor over the area I want to smooth as you can see I have in here the smooth level and the diameter of my brush tool so I can just click with the cursor over the area and drag to make sure I will smooth all this area a little bit more I can uh, increase the smooth level in here so I will keep 
with a smooth tool a little bit more just to make sure it will be exactly as I want and uh, just make sure a little bit more it can be a little bit slow depending on the on the area and once I'm done I just make sure everything will be smoother I will I will put again level one and from here I just uh, smooth a little bit more with the, the level one just to make sure everything is good and finally I will uh, in this case I need to turn off smooth operation refresh and once I refresh I will be able to uh, click on the check mark to apply the results here we go so the model it's uh, ready i'm going to change to render it so we can see the result this is the idea really easy to define this embossed part from the clayu logo thank you